create your basic design before you begin. Use crystal clear laminating sheets. I cut mine to size first. Make sure they're bigger than the bookmark area. Take your backing off and place the sticky side up over your pattern. Pin this in place, being careful to pin outside of the edges of the area where your book begins. I begin adding my pressed flowers and I, I do this um, right side down. It's really important to remember, always place the flowers with the pretty side, the interesting side, right side down. So as you're working, you're going to be looking at the back side of the flowers. Uh, you're just going to have to wing it a bit and hope you're getting them in the right spot. And you work in reverse. Your, your, your flowers on the top need to be down first. And the flowers behind these, the leaves, I'd say, they need to be in the back. So I usually put my flowers down first, and then afterwards I fill in with leaves. At this point, I just keep adding flowers. I, I usually don't add any after I create the original design on the design paper. Um, you get yourself into trouble if you add too many because you want to add just enough to make a good design, but also leave a lot of the bookmark area showing so you get that beautiful negative space around the leaves. And I've also found that sparser leaves look best with bookmarks, weedy stuff, um, not larger leaves. I'll show you some examples of that at the end of the video. You can see I have um, a verse prepared on the back and the front has a border of sharpie lines in metallic colors. I place the bookmark border side down with the verse looking back at me and I take off a piece of laminate and I place it over the bookmark and the flowers encasing them inside. I smooth it out and voila! There is a beautiful bookmark. The next step is to trim it. Don't trim flush with the bookmark. You want to leave the smallest fraction of the laminate touching each other so that it doesn't open up and let air get to the flowers or just become marred. So you can see, I think, that I'm leaving a small border around the edges. And this keeps it intact. And there you go. And this is the finished bookmark. And you can see there I wanted a sample of a leaf I put on the wrong way. That's the back side of the leaf. It still looks pretty, but I like it better the right way. Here's about 30 bookmarks I made. And you can see, you can either have the design go side to side or grow upwards in a natural look. And I have a little arrow here to show you a leaf I probably shouldn't have used. It's a little thick. And you can see it looks a little clunky. And here you can see sparser, weedier leaves, and they look prettier. And see how they extend over the border. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I'll try to add some others.